Elon Musk's recent comments with Tucker Carlson touch on several hot-button issues like immigration, electoral fairness, and the future of U.S. politics. Musk has expressed a strong belief that if Donald Trump loses the upcoming election, it could mark the end of the free elections Americans are familiar with. His key argument revolves around the idea that Democrats are leveraging illegal immigration as a long-term strategy to secure political power. By allowing more undocumented individuals into the country, especially in pivotal states, Musk claims this is part of a deliberate effort to shift the political landscape permanently. I mean, my view is, is that if Trump doesn't win this election, it's the last election we're going to have. Um, that uh, the Democrats, the Dem machine, um, has been uh, importing so many people, bringing in so many illegals, flying, flying in with this like CBP border app thing that nobody even knew about, like secret program. That's illegal, basically. It's, it's, it's illegal, but there's no action by DOJ to actually to, to stop it from happening. They're um, transporting uh, large numbers of, of illegals to swing states. Um, if, you, if you look at the numbers, these are the numbers from the government website. So it's like from the Demo De Democrat administered government website. Like where do you get this data? From the government website that is run by Democrats. Um, and uh, there are triple digit increases in illegals to all the swing states. And in some cases, it's like 700% over the last three years. Now these swing state margins are you know, sometimes 10, 20,000 votes. So what happens if you put, you know, hundreds of thousands of people into each swing state? Uh, and, and, and for the, for the if, when somebody is granted asylum, they are fast-tracked. They, 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 they get, can get a green card, and then five years after the green card, uh, they, can get, they, they can get citizenship and they can fully legally vote. And when they do so, they vote overwhelmingly Democrat. And, the, and sometimes I get this rebuttal of like, well, a lot of them, their social values don't align with right. sort of the far left sort of woke ideology. Yeah. I said, that's true, but, um, but that's not their top priority. The top, their top priority is getting their friends and family also to the United States. Uh, and uh, the, the Dems also issue all these programs, these uh, sort of handouts, essentially, that make them beholden to the Democratic Party. So they vote down. That's what happened. So my prediction is, if there's another four years of a Dem administration, they will legalize so many uh, uh, illegals that are there uh, that the next election, there won't be any swing states. And, it's the, and we'll be a single party country, just like California is a single party state. That's a supermajority Dem state in California. Because of immigration. Yes. The, California was uh, fairly reliably re Republican. Um, Bill Clinton lost California in 92 and won West Virginia. Yes. Um, so there was a 1986 amnesty. Yes. Um, uh, and and um, thereafter, California traded very strongly Dem. And is at this point, uh, I think, 65, 70% Dem, something like that. It's supermajority Dem. The, the, the California legislature yes. is more than two-thirds Democrat. Musk suggests that these immigrants once granted citizenship, would overwhelmingly vote Democratic, thereby ensuring the party's dominance. While it is true that legal immigrants can eventually become citizens and participate in elections, Musk's theory rests on the assumption that there is a coordinated plan at play to alter the U.S. electorate in favor of Democrats. He points out that despite immigrants often holding traditional values, their voting patterns tend to align with economic incentives such as government benefits that Democrats are more likely to support. Musk argues that this reliance on state aid, rather than cultural values, drives immigrant voting behavior, playing into a broader critique of big government policies. He draws parallels to California, using it as an example of how immigration and amnesty policies in the 1980s turned the state from politically competitive to solidly democratic. Musk's metaphor suggests that this trend could spread nationwide if similar policies continue to be enacted on a federal level, potentially leading to a one-party system that leaves Republicans with little chance of winning future elections. The idea that demographic changes could lock the GOP out of power is a growing concern for many who worry about maintaining political balance. However, Musk's argument 
that illegal immigration will guarantee permanent democratic control assumes that voter preferences are static. It ignores the fact that political loyalties can shift over time. As immigrants integrate into American society, their priorities might evolve, and so too could their voting habits. Political parties themselves often adjust to changing demographics and emerging issues, which could lead to a more fluid political landscape than Musk suggests. Beyond electoral concerns, Musk touches on deeper anxieties about national identity and sovereignty. He warns that unchecked immigration could threaten the cultural and political fabric of the country, framing it as not just a demographic shift, but a strategic maneuver. The fear is that American values are being diluted, and trust in government is eroding due to perceived manipulation of the electorate by those in power. Musk's ominous. Last choice. Warning may seem extreme to some, but it resonates with those who fear that immigration policies could irreversibly tilt the balance of power in favor of one party, especially if these changes occur in battleground states where elections are often decided by slim margins.